The notorious desperado Toulouse Le Mousse had escaped to Cherbourg after jumping bail. There he had been apprehended and I was sent to return him to Paris. Company, halt! You Cherbourg police are dismissed. I will take over from here. All right, hold out your hand. I will put these pretty little bracelets on to keep from losing you. There. And to make sure, I will throw away the key. <laughs> now, you ugly brute, it's time to catch the Paris Express. March. <laughs> Resisting an officer, eh? <clears throat> now you have played right into my hands, eh? I was secretly hoping you would put up a struggle <laughs> so I could rough you up a bit. The surete is not used to taking foolishness from low criminals like you. When I say March, I don't mean April, I don't mean June. I mean March. March! You are trying my patience, monsieur. Put your hands up. Put them down. Down, please. Imbecile, you have fractured my police pistol. If you think we're going to miss that train, just think again, monsieur. You're going, even if I have to pay baggage rates on you. Now, April, I mean March. Needless to say, I did not check him as baggage because I would have had to ride in the baggage car with him. <laughs> now, my pretty one, I would like to see you make just one false move. <laughs> he made a false move, but I did not get a chance to see it. prisoner was not only escaping from the law, but with the law, which of course was very embarrassing to me. <laughs> this has gone far enough. I commend you to halt in the name of the law. <laughs> you fool, you idiot. Can't you be more careful with me? Watch out, the wall! was beginning to have a lot of loose ends, and I was one of them. Paul, you are only making it worse for yourself. Here comes a truck, quick, get off to the side of the road. It was our misfortune to choose a very busy highway. Those hounds had picked up the scent again of those hounds. As usual, when things seemed almost insurmountable, a brilliant thought crossed my mind. In a moment, you go your way and I'll go mine. After a long, tiring day, the moose decided to catch 40 wings. He was on his 39th wink when I deduced he was safely asleep. It was now or never. <laughs> it's nothing. You just have a small bump on the top of your head. I can easily fix it in a jiff. After that, we both settled down for 80 wings. By morning, the hounds were closing in on us. I was almost at the end of my rope, or I mean my chain, when I was seized with a sudden inspiration. I have a plan that cannot fail. Follow me, mon ami. Of course, anyone could have thought of it. Anyone with a sharp, quick mind, that is. 7.10 is due any minute now, eh? Now the passing train will sever the chain and separate us. 
It was then that the moose directed my attention to a slight oversight in my plan. Yipe! We are free! Free at last, you beautiful moose, you... As I said before, I am taking you back to Paris, so no more arguments. I was quite sure this time that Toulouse-Lemousse would not jump the bail.